We're very excited about the, the traction that, that we've been able to, uh, to generate in Utah. Uh, we're seeing that spill over into other Mountain West states. I'm in Wyoming now. We've spent some time in Idaho recently. And uh, we're just going to push as hard as we can for the next couple of weeks. But we're excited about what we've seen. It's going to be a really tough electoral race, obviously. And Donald Trump is behind on that front. What do you say to Republicans who might be watching right now and saying, really, if we, for all his flaws, if Utah's electoral votes don't go to him, it's that much harder for him to beat Hillary Clinton. He's not going to beat Hillary Clinton unless something truly dramatic and incredible happens. He's down in all of the electoral college projections. This is why I and my running mate, Mindy Finn, both warned the Republican Party not to nominate Donald Trump. He's an absolutely terrible candidate. Uh, he had no chance even against a deeply corrupt and flawed okay. candidate that Hillary Clinton is. Uh, Evan, uh, and that's the reality. You, can't, you don't know whether, you, you know, God bless you, but, you know, the, the hey, Brexit, hey, hey, if you want to ignore the polls, if you want to ignore the polls, that's fine. But they're pretty clear. It doesn't, then let's not have the election. That's just, that's exactly. absurd. It, it, at Brexit, it was 52-48. As it came out, it was 52-48 the other way. the way. It's likely that you're right, but you don't know. And the fact is you're taking a electoral 40, vote. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Interrupt you're me. talking ahead. about a popular vote. I'm talking about the projection. No, I'm not the, talking it, about the projections in the Electoral College. You can, you can right, deny that all the, you want, like the, the Trump election. supporters, but that's the reality. Then. Look, you're taking votes away from the Republican, and you're making it harder for, to stop Hillary Clinton. Just... You know, you can say what you are. You so, don't have so to I'm just taking votes away from I'm taking over. votes away Joe. from Donald Trump. Okay. He might be the Republican. He's no conservative. This guy wants to grow the size of the federal government. Okay. He wants single payer health care. He's always been in favor of late term abortions. Doesn't support the Second Amendment. Wow. This guy wants to right. increase the size of our national debt. Is that what you're that hoping for? Is that what you're defending? I think the kind of leadership we need in this country is leadership that will return power to the states. There's too much power concentrated in Washington, D.C. That ends up meaning that the 330 million of us fight over the decisions that are made there. Big corporation dollars fight over the decisions, chase those decisions there. It breeds corruption. We've got a government that believes it's unaccountable to the American people. We've got to return power to the states. That's how our founders envisioned this. They understood that we would have diverse, a diverse country. They understood that self-rule required that. And we've got to return power to the states, and that'll that'll solve a lot of our problems, mainly how do you uh, government term, accountability. How do you feel yeah. about term limits, Evan? I support them, but what, what office are you talking about? But in general, I support them. For the them. House, for the House, and we have it for the presidency now, for the House and the Senate. Yeah, yeah I support you them. Know, I, you can, you I can support take, them. You can throw all the rocks you want at Trump, but, but the remarks he made about limiting lobby, lobbying in Washington and restrictions on who can lobby and when, it's all part of the whole package. We need to fix this. Well, well, that's certainly true. And I, I, I support term limits, but I'm sorry, you're talking about that. That's hardly an excuse for Donald Trump's candidacy, which has been a bigoted, misogynistic, xenophobic candidacy that has divided this country even during this race. He's not he's not president. He won't be president. But he's not president. He's still divided this country. He's done enormous harm to our country, even as a candidate. So, look, he's not somebody who respects our system. He doesn't understand the division of or the separation of powers. He came to when I was still uh, the, when I was the chief policy right. director in Congress and he visited us there. He proclaimed his uh, his support for parts of the Constitution that don't even exist. This is the kind of guy he is. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.